Hello chickens, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are well, relaxed and enjoying a great weekend. We are having a lovely bank holiday weekend. So today really is Sunday, but it feels like a Saturday. Not that it makes any difference in my life because I do the same thing every day. But I hope that you're getting some time to yourself and crafting time, of course. Right, I am going to share with you what I have put into each signature today. i um, got two signatures, as I promised. And I have also got a little exciting project for you to do just after this. So I hope you're going to follow along. I'm going to show you quickly these and then I'll show you what it is that you need to gather. It's really easy and very girly and a lot of fun. So let's have a go at that. Okay, so this is, I've got the two signatures. I've, I've decided to put these uh, images on the front of each of those. Um, this is, I'm going to call this one signature number one. And I'm going to open this up here. Let's do it like that. So that you can see which pages I am putting in each. All right, so that's going to be on the front. And as you know, I've already shared with you what I'm printing on the other side, but I'm going to just turn them over um, so that you can see. I've then put in a tea stain page. All right. I have folded that bit over. Let me tell you three inches. All right. And then I've done three inches on that side. So you've got three inches on each side. OK, this is going to be the fold line to go here like that. All right. So that's the next one. Um, then we've got this double page here with a teddy. All right, that's what was on the back of that one. I'm putting in, as I said to you, to gather four of these. This is the first of the cream lace paper from the background kits. The links are in the description box below if you're looking for anything uh, with anything that I'm talking about. So that's double sided printed as we discussed. I've then taken my bag, uh, one of the bags from, I think this one is from my fabrics <laughs> to think um so if you've bought fabrics from me you've got these bags but any paper bag go and grab it and we're going to use it so i've put it in here i've just folded it effectively in half all right so like that okay so that's the next bit then i have followed that on with this page the green with the lovely gold background and there's some uh writing as well so it's a background page really um, and on the other side of that, we've got that. All right. This is the first of the book pages. I've trimmed around my book pages so that there's no white showing. All right. Um, sometimes when it prints, you might find that it might be ever so slightly not exactly matched up. Um, I just go to the side that has the widest white on the edge and I trim it and it works out perfectly. So there we go. All right, so that's that one with the teddies. Uh, then we the next page is this lovely page with a bicycle. Um, I've put, I've separated into the signatures the different styles of pages, as you will see, and that's how I've now I've worked out how they all need to fit together. Right, so there's that one, and we had the lace on the back of that. We've got our second tea stain page. This is just folded in half and put in the middle. And then we've got the second of those double pages. That one has a blue edge. This has got a green gold edge. All right. So there's that one with the house and the little girl. Um, this, this is the second of the tea stain pages. So I've got the little younger girls there and the older ones there. Yeah. Um, then we've got another cream lace page. So there's that on both sides. Fold it clearly in half. And then we've got the writing page here. And that's got the blue gingham in the middle. All right, so we've got that as forms our very first signature. Now, I might add in an envelope project, um, but I'm not quite sure where that would go. It's something when I do it, I will tell you at the time. All right, but that's basically our first signature ready to go. And we're going to put all our projects into that. I tend to um, take my little clips um, like my butterfly clip here and I just keep that like that and keep it all together all right not for long because we end up putting in something all right um, then the second one this is the second one I'm just going to grab it through the middle same sort of principles really and um, you've got one with a blue edge one with a green the, the two paged um, 
pages and everything else. All right, so that's the first one, and we've got blue lace on there. All these backgrounds come from my uh, Little Ladies background kit. There are 20 different backgrounds in there, and everything I'm going to use for this project, rather than me saying oh, I've used from this kit and that kit, I've put it into one kit. Okay, right, so this is a tea stain page, same principle here, three inches from that side, three inches from that side, and that's going to form the, the fold line for there. Okay, we end up putting something on there. Right, then we've got this little page with the little girl on the bench, and we've got another cream sta stained a cream lace background page there. And that's followed with this blue bag. I had to give this a good iron because this one is a bit wrinkled and I don't use this for my project. So I'm stuck with the wrinkled one. I've given it an iron. I'm not going to stress myself too much because we will put goodies on here and you're not going to notice. But just give your bag an iron um, and then it'll come out. This was really wrinkled, but there we go. I've then got this blue background with the gold. We use the green in the other one. That's got that on the other side. Then we've got our book page here with these lovely little girls. I've tried to separate the images into both as well so that you've got a mix. Then we've got this one with a hat. And it's got the beautiful old gold on the back. I love these pages. Um, right, tea stain page just folded straight in half like that. We've got these girls and that, uh, this girl and the flower pot over there. And it's got the beautiful gold on the back there. Another cream page like that. Then this little one with the dog. Happy National Dogs Day if you were in America uh, and celebrating that yesterday. So we've got this. All right, that's got that on the other side. And then um, this is the green writing page with the green gingham, I think, on that side. All right, so those are how, those are the order and how I'm putting these signatures together. All right, so that's, that's your two signatures ready to go. We're halfway there. <laughs> Not quite. All right, well, at least with that we are. All right, so there we go. Now, um, I'm going to share with you a little project that I made. Uh, we're going to make two of these. I've got one made, and I'm going to share with you how I made the other. So I have made these little um, pockets. And, uh, well, you've seen me do this before in different styles, but I love these. And I had fun with all the different lace and bits on here. So this, I've just, it's like a little... Uh, em well, envelope, uh, I'm not sure, pockets, I don't know. Right, pouches, there we go, I'm sticking with that. So it's just got a little Velcro there because I'm useless with magnets. <laughs> um, I've got lots of little layers here, so it's looking girly, a piece of lace. I've got a little lacy butterfly there, if you have a look. How cute is that? It's fully lined, so really nice. And we're going to put these into our journals. Um, so you need to make two. All right, so this is the blue one. Um, what I've used here is this blue background paper. All right, and I'm going to show you, I've used blue lace. So for this one, I've used um, six inches of this natural lace which is all the lace from my lace bundles so it's six inches and in width it is I think it's 30 cent 30 mil all right so what is that that's like an inch and a quarter more or less um it's got one two three four five six seven eight peaks on it all right then uh, this is for this one here and then over here I've used I think that was five inches and you got one two three four five six seven eight nine little scallops on it all right so i've used that to sh to with the mid blue seam binding which looks like this and this is four inches all right so 10 centimeters uh 12 and a half centimeters and well you've got eight of these and it's, i think that's six so it's 15 centimeters all right so those are your approximate measures just approximate but those are the three i used to make that there all right now i'm going to make the green version of this so i'm going to show you what you need 
I'm going to just put this to the side here. Oh, I cut this out from one of my background pages. Um, you'll see that there are a whole lot of these. I've just cut one out there and put it on there. All right, and just a sentiment and some of that little lace piece there and a butterfly. All right, so let's have a look at what you need. Now that was for the blue. For the, um, the green version, I'm going to use the same um, six inches of this, so 15 centimeters. I'm not going with the blue. I am using the seam binding, which is just four and a half inches actually. All right, so you're looking at about 11 centimeters there. Um, I have used some fabric. Now this is, I think it's yeah two inches wide and it is six centimeters six inches long so it's five centimeters by 15 all right and I have folded that in half but it's going to unfold in a minute now I was going to use more green but it became too much green so I'm going to go with this lace which is four inches just over four inches in length okay so we're going to need that then this is also the butterfly is also from the lace pack you get a whole lot of butterflies and I just trimmed off the edge there so that's what that is um, you need some cotton and thread any color I'm going to use the velcro spots but you're welcome to use any closure method magnets or whatever I have cut this out of my many pages with a girl with a hat so you'll see the two birds I'm using one of the sentiments this one's your my sunshine I've got some buttons. These buttons come from my button um, bundle. If you bought an ultimate bundle, the buttons came free with the other freebies. All right, so that's from there. Um, and then I've got a couple of die cuts. So I've got um, a leaf and one that looks like this, dark and lighter green. And then I've got two of these that I'm going to use. All right, so that's what you need. Okay, so... I'm going to just put that all up there for the moment yeah and I'm going to share with you quickly um, what you need to do paper wise now with the paper I'm going to go with the green version and this is the blue version all right um, and I've cut this at four inches so 10 centimeters and the length of your page the width of your page which in my case is 8.25 inches now, if you're using a US letter, yours is 8.5. You can either trim off a, a quarter of an inch or use it as it is. All right. Then I've taken a, just a piece of my gingham background paper, also from the background kit, both of these. And um, this is the same width, four inches, 10 centimeters. And the height of this is four and a quarter. It doesn't have to be exact. I just want it to line and go beneath the fold and I'll show you what I mean now. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is to stick this onto the top of that. All right, so decide which part you want at the top. Doesn't really matter. I'll go with that. All right, so I'm just gonna take my glue stick. Now I did stitch around mine, as you can see, yeah. It's not a must, guys. You know I just like the stitching, but you don't have to do that. I'm gonna glue this on here so that I don't mess up my board. Mind you, I just wipe it off. Um, now, I just wanna make sure, is this the right side or is it this side? <laughs> Can't remember, that's this side. Okay, so we wanna just get that to one of the edges here, yeah. And hopefully that is straight. And if it doesn't cover exactly, we'll just trim it slightly. So that's all right. Okay, this is just to give it, um, to show you what to do when you can't double print. And also it gives you stability. I'm using 160 GSM paper. All right, so that's double the weight of copier paper. Um, I think in pound weight, that's 60 pound weight. All right, so that's what I'm using. I'm just checking if there's anything here where it's not quite to the edge and it's just a little bit on the side. So that's not the end of the world. can just trim that off. It's really a sliver. So there we go. Got to love a craft knife, don't you? 
Mind you, mine's a Stanley knife. Right, so we've got that there. Now, before we do anything else, I'm just going to put this on my board and I'm going to measure two inches, so five centimeters, um, taking my ruler and my um, bone folder. And I want to just make sure I've got it straight for a start. And then it's just two inches down, five centimeters. I'm going to just make a bit of a indent there. All right. Then on the other end, so I'm just going to turn this around. We're going to go two and a half cent um, inches up. Right. So two and a half. What is that? Six and a half centimeters. Okay. I'm just going to go like this. See, I mean, I do have these dots on my board, but um, you know, right? Okay, so you've got two and a half inches there, six and a half centimeters, five centimeters, or two inches from there. So, this one is easy, you just want to fold that up. Abby's awake now, she's had a long walk and decided she's going to entertain herself. Excuse me, it's not your turn. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right, so now I'm going to just put my ruler on there. And I'm going to just do this with my bone folder, just so that you don't get this wrinkling of the paper. All right, then I'm going to just turn that over like this. Line up the edges. There we go. All right. Okay, so you see, you don't get any wrinkling. Um, so now that's going to look beautifully lined, and that's going to cover there, and we're good to go. All right, let's move that out the way. All right, I'm going to just take my corner rounder here. I'm just going to round these off. You don't have to do this, but as I always say to you, if you don't have a corner punch, um, using the edge here like that yeah take your pencil and draw and cut it with your scissors works just as well All right so there we go now just a case of distressing a little bit like that yeah now if you're not gonna um stitch then you can just glue these sides together so I'll just show you I have got one that I have already done so I'm just going to show you just uh, for the gluing just put a bit of glue here and here there we go and then quick as that you're done okay all right so there you've got your little pouch pocket pouch all right so there we go i have gone and stitched around it so i'm going to just grab that quickly la la there it is right so i've just stitched around there there we go and then when you stitch on the other side remember you just take your bone folder and run it over there and then the stitches lie nice and flat okay so we're going to use this one now because this is the one i want to use now the first thing i'm going to do is I'm going to just put some bits on the base here. So you want to use your little birds. I want to use my leaf and my lighter green. So two greens. I'm going to use that little sentiment. You're my sunshine. There we go. Right. And uh, I wanted some lace. Now, when I was mocking this up earlier, I did have this lace to go on here and I just ended up looking like too much green so I'm going to go with this one this crocheted one and put that on there all right so I'm going to just measure that well we can cut that once it's on so I'm going to take my three-in-one beacon and I'm going to just put that on the bottom section here quickly and then we can just get that on the edge there as long as we've got that pretty straight. There we go. 
Right, I'll cut that off in a minute. I'm just checking I've got it pretty straight. And I do. I want to just put that down there. It's casting a shadow. Right, so hopefully you can see now. All right. Um, and then we're going to just layer up these two. So I've got this from my die cuts. Um, and I'm going to just stick this on here. Okay, so I've stuck that one down. And I'm going to... Get that one a little higher like that then we're going to be able to stick the little birds down you can also cut this i think it's the mini page that i took this off it's next to the hat like that and then i just want to stick this um, over here as well i think this needs just a little bit more ink i'm so excited about starting this journal I need to pull myself towards myself so I can go <laughs> put myself back in my secret garden mode and finish that off for you as well. Right, so we've got that little bit there and now we can just cut off without chopping my leaf off. <laughs> Should have definitely have done that before, shouldn't I? There we go. All good. Right. Okay, so we've got that bit there. I'm going to put that over here now, just to keep that down while I do the front bit. Okay, so we've got that bit now, and now I want to just share with you what I'm going to do for the top. Now, I've got further two little um, die cuts, and I'm going to stick one like that and one like that. With this one here, I did invert that one. You can see it's not quite as smooth as that. Um, so I'm using these now to do something a little bit different. So let me quickly get these stuck down. Okay, so there we have it there. Right, now I want to start layering up the lace pieces that I did. So what I did was the same principle for all three bits here. I took this lace, I used my, my needle and my thread and I threaded it through the top section there all the way to the end. All right. Now I'm going to show you what I did with this one. Um, the same with this. I've done the same for all three. I've made a big knot at the start and I've run little running stitches, if you can see, all along the top there. And I've just left a few for the end. So I can just show you. I don't want to waste your time showing you how I stitch each and every one of these. It's simple enough. If I can just get it open. <laughs> All right. So um, there we go. So it's just a case of taking your needle and thread and doing little stitches across the top there like that. Yeah. Now, I didn't go to the end with any of them i left a little bit um like that all right so like a quarter of an inch from the end now what i do is i take my let's just move this to the side the fabric tack take your glue <clears throat> and i keep that open like that and i'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the end here I haven't pulled this. This is the the thread is still straight, yeah. And then just make sure you've got them facing the same way, yeah. And take the other end, which I also started a quarter of an inch away, yeah. And I'm just going to push those two ends together. So I've lined them up on the edge there, yeah. And just put some glue along the seam, just to glue the two together, so that you've got a circle. All right, so there's no open ends now. Let's put some glue on that. Right, so it's a bit tacky, but that's okay. At this point now, I'm going to pull this thread. Yeah, same for all three of these. I'll show you the fabric separately. Um, all right, so you've got all of that there and just pull it gently. And then this bit that you've glued, just put it to the side, one of the sides like that turn it over yeah you've still got your needle attached yeah 
and you can pull it as tight as you need to to make it bigger or smaller and I'm just going to put that to the side there and I'm going to just put my needle through that flappy bit to go to the top yeah and just sort of put a stitch in to put that flappy bit flat really and give it a last pull right now you can just even those little pulls out especially when you glue it you can all right you've got that on the front there now and just do a little stitch in those gathers there all right just to secure it that's all it off you want to this is the point where you would stitch a button on sorry so you just want to grab one of these little buttons whichever button you want to use And then you could just keep that over the, the center hole there. Now these are pleated up, but once you glue it down, you can spread it with your fingers to be a little bit more opened up. Right, and then you wanna just stitch that um, in place, all right? So just make sure that you're catching a little bit of the seam binding as you do that. Okay, and these are gonna make the sweetest little flowers. And then you can just um, finish it off here. So I just make a little bit of a loop, like a bit of a chain stitch loop. And then just catch the thread in there. You can just make a couple of stitches or whatever just to finish it off however you like. We're going to glue it down anyway. And then just cut that off. All right. And then over here you've got your little flower, which... When you stick it down, you can arrange your little bits accordingly. What did I do there? Right, I'm not going to hassle with that. Right, so and there you go. All right, so that's how I made those little flowers. And I've made a few of them. So there you can see. All right, there's the green one. And there are the other ones. Okay, so we can use these. Um, and I'm going to use the green one for this let's put those there there we go and I didn't quite get my button in the middle but there once I've glued it it'll be arranged all right so I've done that with that so there we go I've gathered it up and you can see it's a bit ratty on the edges but what I do is when I come I leave a little bit there and I will just fold that over when I glue it um, and over that bit so that it all looks nice and neat okay so there's that one and then uh, what I did was I made a little Suffolk puff all right so what I did was this is just an inch in width when it's finished I've taken the two inches folded them in half all right um, but before you fold them in half what you need to do is open it up and you can do this by hand or on the machine you want to stitch across there all right so I've done it here you stitched across there like that very close uh, seam and then when when you've done that you can now turn this like um, to the right side and fold it now in half as we had it there before all right so you've got a little circle meet those sides together and then either with your machine or by hand you're going to put in those little running stitches all the way around. And when you've done that, you just pull them all together like we did with that and that. Same principle applies. And you end up with that. Okay, so that's how we are going to do all of that. Now, what I want to do is I want to get it stuck onto my little top here. So I'm going to leave that there no, it's going to annoy me so hopefully we will be okay right we're going to start with this one and it does look messy there and my hands will get full of glue <laughs> that is a definite all right so we're going to start with this and um i'm going to fold that little bit over there um so let's start with that we'll get a little bit of glue out of here and i'm using the fabric tag because it's great for this kind of thing all right, but whatever fabric glue you like to use, just fold over a little bit there. Yeah, and just grip it with your fingers. And now we're going to get glue 
um, all over the, the back of this. So go close, not too much, but you know, just dot it wherever you can. Um, but as I say, not overly loads because it'll be oozing all over the place, but enough to hold it down. So I'm just really, and especially on the edges. Okay, I think that's about what I need. And it is a messy job. So keep that side that you folded over to the side and let's make a start. Right, so we want to sort of centralize it. So you've got a lot going on here. <laughs> Move that in. Once you've got it where you want it, then you can press it down. Yeah, pull it out a little bit if you want it how you want it. The great thing with Fabri-Tac is it's you know it's forgiving, so you can press and pull and maneuver as you want. A little bit more on the join here. There we go. All right. So there's that. Happy with that. Now we want to take this one. Let's have a little check. Um, there's my middle and I want to have that just over there. So we want to do exactly the same here. We want to just layer that up. And this is double um, fabric. So, But also very nice and fine fabric, the Liberty. So, you know, you can really do this kind of thing it works perfectly it's not too cumbersome and not too bulky now I had my little clips here which I'm going to put on in a minute but once you've done this put this under a little um either use clips or a heavy book um and it will flatten itself yeah right and then you want to take your little flowery bit and I'm just rearranging my little gathers here. And I'm going to stick that in the middle. It's a bit fiddly, but it's all rewarding. And then um, grab your little clips. So I've got these. Oh, I think these are too short. I've got bigger ones and I keep forgetting to take them out right so there you go with that and you can't go wrong with this you know right so we'll just give that a, a sec to do its little setting job right so that's our little project for today and we're going to put these in one in each of our signatures and we'll put tags or whatever behind it we'll decorate the pages as well and here's our little blue one all right, so I will go and put these underneath something heavy. Um, lovely little, oh, that's what I haven't put on. Forgotten already. I've got my little butterfly here. I'm going to just take off the trimming, the edge of the butterfly. There you go, look. And I'm going to put them just over there. How sweet. Yeah, just over there. So again, I'm going to just take my, and I forgot my Velcro dot as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. And put it just there. Yeah, so you can see it. There we go. And then my last little bit is just to take my little Velcro dot. So we've got the one with the hooks. And I know that it's two inches so let's put it here right and then you want the fluffy one the fluffy one to go on top of that so we'll put it there and then we'll just close it and then it goes where it needs to go so that's how we do that all right how sweet are those all right, everybody, that's your little Sunday project. Go and make yourself a couple of flowers. I'm going to go make some more of these in different colors. 
those are going to be awesome especially when you're struggling to find little flowers the little handmade ones which is what they would have done in victorian times wouldn't they have all these little handmade goodies so i'm going to go make a couple of those um, and they're going to look gorgeous in our journal look at the little butterfly it's so sweet all right so that's it for sunday go and get those pages together Go and make yourself two of these. We're going to put them into our journals and we're going to have some fun with all these bits and pieces going into our book. I'm so excited. Thank you for following along with me. I'll have another little video for you on Tuesday. So go and enjoy a wonderful bank holiday if you're in the UK. We have tomorrow off. Um, but wherever you are, go and have some relaxed time. It's always great. Just a comment um, on my website shop. I did put an announcement up there that um, Google Chrome have actually um, altered their security settings for um, zip files. So um, that's for anybody you, um, because that's they're just trying to protect people for viruses. Um, so that's the way that viruses normally end up going in a zip file. But of course, people like myself who use graphics also need to zip them because of the size of the graphics if you use google chrome try and you as a web browser try using safari you'll find you won't have that problem there is nothing wrong with the files i did it before i knew what was going on i had them checked by my it guy so there's nothing and they're the same files i use for etsy as i use on my website if you are struggling give me a shout i will help you and send those on to you but usually there isn't a problem there's nothing wrong i just wanted to let you know that all right stay well everyone and i'll see you tuesday bye